Welcome back to another edition of DIY Golf Cart Garage. Today we're continuing our works on this 2003 EasyGo TXT, or as we better known around here, it's called Pawpaw's Tree Climber. Today what we're going to be discussing and mounting is a battery indicator. I want to go over a couple of different ones for you. What we have here is the digital model which we'll be putting inside this car. This one here happens to be a horizontal read which means it reads from left to right. The one we're going to be installing this car here is going to be a vertical one. It's just reads from top to bottom. On the back of these we have two connectors. They are clearly marked positive and negative. And when you run these two wires, these wires have to go directly to the battery pack. No key switch, no nothing has to go there. It has to stay engaged all the time because it has an internal capacitor. When you do mount this particular type, you do have to let it sit 20, about 22 minutes for the capacitor to fully charge to give you an accurate reading. And when you do mount it, it comes already pressed in this little paper template. You can take this out, use this rectangle template, install it wherever you want on your golf cart, draw it out, and cut it out. Now the other style that we is commonly used is an analog battery indicator. This particular one is round. It has two mounting holes, which is the uh, well, the threads. The bracket will go across them and hold this way. These two are marked positive and negative, and once again, these have to go directly to the battery pack of the positive side and negative side. Cannot go to key switch or any other switch. Now, this one does not come with a template. So what I've done, got a small piece of paper, laid it down face first, drew around it, then on the inside, I made another circle, one eighth of an inch all the way around, cut it out, and then it will fit perfectly through. That way you can take this portion Mount it wherever you want on your golf cart and have it working in no time. But for now, let's get this battery indicator mounted in this car, run the wiring so we can see just how charged these batteries are. I've cut out a rectangle section right here on the dash. This is where the golf tees used to be. Cut it out with a Dremel. I've come back and I've got a red wire on the positive side, black wire on the negative. Got it pushed in right here. Now I put two screws in it, run the wires underneath the car, hook the red wire to the positive side of the battery pack, black wire to the negative side of the battery pack, and we'll be done with it. I've got the red wire coming up over here on the positive side of number one battery, pre-fuse. I've got the negative lead coming up over here on the negative side of the battery pack. Now I'll give this another 22 minutes and the state of charge indicator will be up and functioning great. Well that's it for this episode. Keep an eye out, like us, comment, let us know how we're doing. Let us know if there's anything else that you would like to see, any special types of videos. Just remember, subscribe and we'll see you later and keep in touch and keep an eye out as we continue with all the episodes working on our 2003 EasyGo TXT Grandpa's Tree Climber.